Depeche Mode, Memento, Mori, Alb Review. Let's chat about it. Hey, friends, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here tonight to chat about this latest album from UK synth pop legends, one of the most iconic bands to ever touch down on the name of synth pop Depeche Mode, who since the early 80s have been absolute trailblazers in the genre since the release of their debut album, Speak and Spell, which I think has aged surprisingly well. But they didn't really waste any time going for a darker sound almost immediately with albums like A Broken Frame and Construction Time Again. And these albums were very solid. You know, I, I enjoy bits and pieces of them. But if anything, I became completely enamored with their sound on the much more gothic-inspired Some Great Reward and Black Celebration. And for some time, man, God, for years after that, things were just... Things were really good for Depeche Mode. Music for the masses, it's a it's an absolute must listen. It's one of their best releases. And 1990s Violator deserves every praise and accolade that it's ever got. I also have really enjoyed the darker and grittier sounds of uh, Songs of Faith and Devotion. And 1998's industrial and trip-hop inspired Ultra is all pound for pound one of their best efforts. It's the 2000s that really kind of got me off track with the band. Like, I cannot begin to describe just how one note and boring the Exciter album is. It is rough to listen to. I mean, Playing the Angel was a little bit better. Not by much. And between albums like Sounds of the Universe and Delta Machine and their last album, Spirit, I mean, I hate to be that guy, but... I just shrugged at all these releases. These were all just so incredibly middle-of-the-road albums from one of the finest acts to ever step foot into synth-pop. Just, just really depressingly middle-of-the-road. Sure, there were good tracks here and there, but overall, these were very average works. And really just, I don't know, put a bad taste in my mouth in the legendary name of Depeche Mode. Now, it's been quite a while since we've heard from the boys in in studio and leading up to this album I didn't have that much hype but I started listening to some of the singles more and more and I found myself enjoying them quite a bit and you know what I'm just gonna say it now this is easily the most Depeche Mode album that's come out since the late 90s. This album starts off with My Cosmos Is Mine and for an intro I think it's one of the more powerful tracks here. The pacing here is surprisingly intense there are some industrial vibes as well. It's pretty meaty, and it's over five minutes long. But let's talk for a second. Let's let's really talk about this for a second. I don't think this is anything game-changing in the work of Depeche Mode. I don't think this is going to, you know, bring in any new fans that, you know, haven't been here already. But this is easily the most that they've sounded like themselves since the late 90s. This track plods along. It's sinister. It's dark. It's got some teeth to it as well. This sounds like a Depeche Mode track, and I can't remember the last time I've been able to say that about the band. Wagging Tongue, on the other hand, surprisingly sounds very much like an 80s Depeche Mode track. It's still dark and gritty, but it's much more playful and not as dense. It's legit, and the production that we get here is super slick. As far as the deep cut goes, look no further. I've also enjoyed Ghosts Again since it dropped as a single. I, I don't know what's been going on for the last 20 years, but I somehow Depeche Mode have caught up to themselves. This sounds like where they should be right now. The synths are icy cold, Dave Gahan's vocals are surprisingly heartfelt, and he just seems really into this. And overall, like, it's dark and mysterious, but it's full of love. This is a Depeche Mode track. The tension that we get on tracks like My Favorite Stranger is absolutely flawless. This is truly one of the darkest tracks here. This track is absolutely sinister. That, alongside of some noisy sound effects and just how cold this atmosphere is, I'm surprised with just how right this comes off. I would love to hear this track again. I wouldn't mind putting this on my workout playlist. I was not expecting that. And it has a grittiness to it that just takes me back. This is not bad at all. Now, this album is far from perfect, but, you know, it, it definitely has its ugly moments. Like, don't say you love me. What what happened here? This is so drawn out and overly dramatic. It just is really kind of pathetic. All of a sudden, this four-minute track sounds like it's like pulling teeth. It's just a sad state of affairs. I think it's the worst track here. And Soul With Me? No, th this ain't it. Uh, this is a spacey, very delicate, almost psychedelic ballad that I just, I don't know who thought this was a good idea. 
This is just awkward, and more importantly, very poorly performed, and I didn't really expect to say that, especially with how good this album has been. This atmosphere is so flaky, and Dave just sounds out of place. Before we drown, eh, it's... It's not the worst sin committed here, far from it, it's just very average. It's so meat and potatoes, it's so straightforward, it's just a very safe track. The pensive instrumental that we get here, it's actually done really well, but the songwriting is clearly not up to snuff. And that goes double for the singing here, yeah, I'm sorry. And always you... This this is one of the bigger risks taken here. The the beat that we get is actually pretty eclectic. We get these warm rhythms as well, which is fine. I'm totally fine with taking risks, but the only issue is, or at least I should say my biggest issue is, Depeche Mode don't sound completely invested in it. This is very far out of their comfort zone, and it just feels like it when you hear their performance here. Outside of that, I am just happy that I have things to say about a Depeche Mode album in 2023. Caroline's Monkey caught me off guard. And I know we've been talking about a return to form in a lot of ways, but then this track rolls along and it's easily the darkest and most tense thing here. You can cut this atmosphere with a knife. This track is tormented. It's got these surreal lyrics. It's impressive, honestly, in the way that this track creeps along. It keeps me captivated. People are good, much like earlier on this album. This is a surprisingly 80s-tinged Depeche Mode track and one that's done really well. It's got that classic retro synth-pop sound with a diabolical twist. And it sounds good, and yeah, this is them going back to basics in a lot of ways, but it works for them. And because of that, their performances are charismatic, and Dave Gahan sounds right at home. And Never Let Me Go might be the best deep cut here. How good is this? I love the sinister synths and the winding bass, the slight post-punk influence. It's got some oomph. I love the wailing guitars. This track overall, it's right on the money. And speak to me, as a finale, how, how cool is this? For a more tragic, somber, dramatic tune, look no further. Like I said, there's a sense of drama to this track, a sense of finality, and it's done very well. I mean, it's not the most eventful track here instrumentally. It is a little one note. But little details like the ambiance, the atmosphere, the harrowed feeling in the lyrics. This is exactly where I wanted this album to end, and I'm glad that it did end up here. Overall, I mean, this album's not perfect. But if you look where Depeche Mode has been for a while and you look at this, I've got so much more to say about this album and for good reason. There's a lot of great material on here. There's a lot of moments that show them going back to their 80s sort of playful synth pop days. There's a lot of really tense, dark moments as well. And yes, some of the ballads do get a little messy and a little overdramatic for my liking personally. But still... It's a Depeche Mode in 2023 where over half the tracks are just really solid material and I can't really complain about that. Feeling a light 7 on this album, but let me know what you all think down below. If you liked the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, friends.